There is a new tool called Opus uh, that uh, turns text prompts into a video game. Basically what you do with Midjourney, but uh, this time turning it into a video asset or a video creation that uh, you can actually play. And uh, here's a quick demo. It's, a st it's still in development. Uh, you can sign up for uh, to test out the beta version. I've already submitted so that I can be one of the first people who test it out. But uh, here's a, a quick demo from their Twitter account. And you can see they're just typing in text and uh, the AI generates uh, places the assets into the scene. I don't think the AI is actually creating the modeling the assets itself. I think it's just uh, getting them from a library and then placing them, helping you place them into your scene and uh, also figuring out the AI mechanic mechanics of uh, the entire system. So I think this is going to be a very, very amazing tool. It can even use it to uh, generate the how the game plays uh, the, the, the entire gameplay telling the game the function the type of functionality you need from the game uh, maybe you, if it's a zombie game you can tell the just tell the AI in text that uh, this is about a zombie game and uh, it can figure out uh, the theme uh, for the game and um, start, decide what type of content it will use in the in the game you can see here the artist is just describing what the game is is going to be about it was a hilly area it was a summer day and uh, the ai just starts adding the hills it was cloudy and uh, then the ai adds some clouds i think you have to have the assets or your engine your game engine has to be able to add uh clouds itself if you don't have the cloud assets it was foggy and then the ai adds the fog again this is uh, this is capability that your your engine whatever engine you're using has to, to have I, I think maybe this is their own game engine you need to have a library of assets i believe because there's no way the ai can create these assets from scratch uh, I, I don't think that is feasible uh you have you they must be a, you must have a, a library of uh, those assets and uh, you have to be able to to let the ai know that this is a mountain uh, this is a maybe you tag them or something and then yeah you can but it's, it's really really a hopeful ai you can see by just typing in it was tommy the ai was able to just add uh, that, that storm in there that windy storm in there uh, if you want uh, to go to their website i'm going to leave a link in the description opus.ai uh, which is their own which is their website uh, to see how to check out let me see what this is it was win it was a winter day so you just type in these prompts and uh, the ai figures figures out uh, the different things uh, that is supposed to to do to make it uh fit the context of your scene there was a girl it adds uh, the girl again you have to have uh, the assets and i think they have to be rigged and uh, ready to for gameplay otherwise i think yeah it it's, it would be too much to ask but uh, yeah you can f change the color of the hair uh, change the different shaders I, I really don't really know how they're doing this because yeah they, they can even change the character's dress or uh, maybe you you have a procedural uh, character that uh, you can change easily and then the ai figures out that for you because I, I can't imagine the ai being able to model this this itself and uh, doing it in the short time frame uh, that we're looking at here uh, she's having uh gray eyes and uh, the ai adds uh gray eyes uh so i guess maybe you you have a parametric model that uh, you can procedurally change uh yourself but uh here you just let the ai do this for you uh, so this is again still a demo so there there hasn't been an open uh product for for users to test out so you, we can't really tell if this is how the the ai is going to work but uh, it's very very promising and uh so if you want you can go to their website opus.ai and uh they have the they have one of the weirdest uh websites uh, where you have to scroll horizontally and kind of sucks but uh yeah uh oh you can just drag like this i don't know why they made it the website like this but it can do lighting for you camera control terrain add fora grass and buildings humanoids and characters animation and a lot of things if you want to sign up for their beta um, just go to their website and they have an option there or watch their demo that we have already looked at
By the way, I've just uh, discounted the asset library uh, to $1.99. I think it was about $8. Uh, I'm doing this because uh, I'm going to start uh, selling packages. Basically, packages are like uh, what you usually see me use. This is the asset library. And uh, what I'm going to be trying to sell is uh, packages that come with it. Uh, so, And I'll be selling them very cheaply. Also, maybe they'll be around $1.99 if you, to make content more accessible. But because it takes uh, a lot of time to work on, I have to make it uh, sustainable. So for example, if I go to my uh, directories here, you can see a list of different packages here. Uh, if I go to my, uh, let's say, decals, you can see I have a bunch of decals here or a, a bunch of objects. And uh, maybe if I go to my furniture, furniture pack, you can see it's a collection of different assets or chairs, different types of furniture uh, that you can easily add to your library, that you can easily add at your scene so uh these are the packages i'm going to be selling i'm also going to keep them i'm going to going to keep them uh quite inexpensive uh, so that uh, they are accessible uh to everyone so yeah that's it uh thank you for watching